Oh my god, you guys, Caesar from 90 Day Fiance came here to do an exclusive interview with me and to share the truth on everything that went down on 90 Day Fiance and the real truth of what went down behind the scenes with Maria. So, oh my god, you guys, this interview was amazing. I don't want to waste any time. Let's jump right into this one. All right, guys, Max is Celeb Talk Guy here, and we are here with Caesar. I can't believe this. Caesar, oh my god, huge fan. This is crazy. Thank you so much for coming on the channel. Hey, no problem. I really appreciate it, and you know, thank you. Sorry about all this technical crap we've had going on today, but let's just jump right into these questions. My followers have been asking about you for quite a while, and I'm curious, you know, what you can and cannot talk about, but, you know, last time we saw you, you had the stuff going on with Maria on 90 Day Fiance in Mexico. We saw some stuff during the quarantine special with you and her. I'm curious, though, if you can reiterate for all my followers, what actually went down with you and Maria after everything that happened in Mexico? Okay. Um, all right. After after the Mexico trip was, um, and then the tell all. Right. We went on the tell all, and then after that, I kind of like, I don't know. I kind of felt like, like she was upset, you know. And mm -hmm. even though she said all those things, I still loved her at that time. And I was like, man, you know, I'm gonna go take a chance, and I'm just gonna go to Ukraine. Yeah. That that's what I told myself. So what I decided to do was just uh fly down there uh -huh. she didn't even know and then call her up and say okay i'm here wow and so, yeah and that's exactly what i did i flew down there i mean i got my passport right here wow you know, I, mean, I don't know if anybody's yeah. gonna they're gonna look at it and say oh that's probably fake but, right you know, i can't get a stamp somewhere <laughs> but i got it right here and I'll, i have to let me see if I can pull it out. Yeah, if you got any proof, Max, I'm not going to lie to you. I got so many people saying it wasn't true. He's just yeah. lying. So let, if you got any proof, man, let's see it. I mean, I wish I could even show, like, my. I have to find my itinerary, my itinerary from my uh, from my flight. Mm -hmm. And then I'd have to, like, uh, email that to you. Yeah. So, so you can actually really see it. We'll do it after the video. I'll, I'll yeah. edit it in if you want. Send it to me after and I'll edit it in. Yeah, I can do it. And yeah. this is. This is the actual, okay. can you see that? Yeah, I actually can. That was stamped. What's the date on it? Is there a date or not? Uh, let me see what the date says. There is something. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can't tell about the date. Oh, the date, it says 1909, what, some, uh, I think it was uh, 9-19-12. That's what okay. it says. Well, so, so when did you, did you go in 2019? Yeah. When did you go? I went to, uh, to Ukraine. No, but when did you go? Oh, when did I go? I went about, man, that was about like eight, nine months ago. Okay. So was it before all the quarantine? Yeah, I can find, when I, I can uh, look it up in my email. Yeah. And I can look it up at the hotel that I stayed in. Yeah. And then I'll send you all that information and then people actually know once you post it up that it was true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because even though that, you know, we took, because the plan was, was that we're going to go come back and we're going to uh, get a visa Mm -hmm. And then from getting a visa, then I was going to bring her over here. Yeah. We weren't going to do the show anymore. Uh -huh. and, and after that, then we we're going to start a YouTube channel and everything like that. And then um, from there, we're going to start getting our relationship back to, to normal. But the thing was, was that she explained it to me and said, you know, uh, in Ukraine, a lot of men pay for their women. And uh. that's what we, we deserve. You know, we deserve our men to pay for everything and and, uh, and take care of us. Yeah. So so I was like, yeah, I said, you know, when you get here, we'll talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let, 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 let's go back, though. So you flew to Ukraine. You went and met up with her. What was that like finally meeting her, though? I'm just so curious. Um, We had, I had to, the, remember when I went to Mexico and I had the, the champagne bottle? Yeah. I took that same champagne and brought it over there, and we went and sat down mm -hmm. in a little tiny, tiny, small cell, and we sat there, and it was like unreal. We sat there, and we actually talked. Yeah. We actually hashed things out. Uh -huh. And um, now was she as beautiful in person as she was online? No, she was a lot. She was a lot nicer. Oh. Uh, in person. Okay. Uh, but but the thing, the kind of thing that that kind of like made me get a little upset, kind of pissed off about, because I brought her like some Victoria's Secret stuff. Uh -huh. I got brought like a jacket. You know, and she was yeah. like, oh, well, I could buy this here. Why would you even bring that here? Oh, you know, wow. She just bring me money. So wow. she was still pretty much kind of like the same way, but just a little bit toned down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then we went to dinner, we ate, and then um, pretty much 
Uh, she needed some help with her bills, so I paid for that. Uh-huh. And then uh, after that, I was getting ready to leave, and I spent like 13 days. And right when, when I was getting ready to leave, she was like, um, let's take some pictures. Uh-huh. I said, yeah. I said, okay. So we had took some pictures inside the hotel, and then we took pictures outside. And then... Um, Do you have the she, pictures you could send me? No, I don't have any. Dang have any. it. Dang it. When, when I gave her my phone, she says, let me let me take a look at your phone, Caesar." Uh-huh. And I'm like, yeah, sure, go ahead. Yeah. And then after she, she uh, looked through it, she erased all of them, even from my Google Drive. Wow. Yeah. And then, wow. so I put, I put my phone back in the camera, and my, I mean, in my pocket, and then as I went through the checking, and I got on the, I got on the plane, and I started looking, and I couldn't find it. Wow. And then I text her, I'm like, where's the, where's the photo? She says, well, I erased it, so that way nobody else will have it. That way, I'll, I'll only have it. Wow. And I don't want anybody else to see wow. that we were together, except for me and you, and then once right. we start, once I get to the United States, then we'll post it up. Right. Okay, wow. So, so. So you went there, when you got on that plane coming back to the United States, were you in a relationship with her? Were you single? What was going through your head when you were on that plane coming back to the States? Well, at the time, I thought that we we were uh, back in a relationship. I thought we had fixed everything. Okay. I thought we were, we were on like mutual ground. We fixed everything. Uh, basically, it wasn't all about money. Right. She was going to start working. Right. She was going to start taking care of herself. I was going to start, um, we're going to kind of like, work together and build something right Maybe and now that. yeah i sorry i don't mean to interrupt you but i'm curious did you guys have any you know bedroom stuff happen when you were in ukraine we can't get too pg-13 because it's on youtube but did you guys have any bedroom intimacy whatnot happen when you were in the ukraine well yeah i mean we had like a little uh, you know we had um we had things that were going on but right. we really we had, we had stuff going you know like kissing mm-hmm. you know having yeah. petting stuff mm-hmm. like that yeah but we couldn't really get into the deep stuff because she wasn't really ready for that okay gotcha you gotcha know? and and um and then all of a sudden man when corona started yeah that was in april of last year yeah then she was like i need like two two or three thousand dollars i need some money she's like you know i have this skin condition uh-huh. and i need some money and so i need you to help me with that i was like well i'm not doing that oh wow so we're not doing that anymore uh-huh. and then all of a sudden she was just like forget about it forget it she was like forget it so okay. she's done so that was it yeah that was it and she was like you know what caesar if you can't take care of your woman then there's no reason why that she even be with you Wow. Okay. Now I want to kind of, I don't know if we're going forward or backward, but there was some time when all of a sudden she was with Jesse, Darcy's ex. Can you kind of bring us up to speed? What in God's name was that relationship that she had yeah. with him? Well, what happened on that, let me tell you what happened yeah. on that, okay? <laughs> I'm right ready. When her, right when I gave her the money, she yep. called me up and she goes, um, I'm going to Barcelona on a business trip. And then just to let you know, I'm going on a business trip. And then yep. what I'll do is um, I'll call you when I get back on the plane and when I'm going home. Yep. I said, okay, that's fine. And, and I said, what money are you using? She said, I'm using the money that you gave me. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. I didn't think nothing of it. Next thing you know, somebody comes up. I'm at work, right? Uh-huh. Next thing you know, one of my friends come up and they said, hey, Caesar, look at this, man. Jesse and Marie are together. I'm like, what the hell? Uh-huh. I'm like, what is that? So yep. then I call her up. I'm like, what are you guys doing? And she's like, oh, well, you know, we're, we're just being friends and mm-hmm. he's helping me build up my reputation again because you tore my reputation up on the show. Right. So was, was this, like, was this, was this after you went to Ukraine or before? No, this was after. Okay. After. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This yep. was after. Yep. So afterwards, then, um, that's when she told me. And then this dude calls me up mm-hmm. on WhatsApp. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? And he's like, Caesar, you know, I need to ask you a question. You know, what did you guys do then? Uh, uh, I want to know because she's telling me a different story. Uh huh. And I was like, why do I have to explain it to you for? Like, right. Like, who are you, man? You're not really anybody. You're just sitting here and you're asking me, what are you guys dating? You know, and mm-hmm. then the thing about it was, I asked him, how did they meet? And he said that she, she went and saw him on Instagram and then she asked him to help her. Because people were bashing her. Oh and then wow! She said he. She told me that he said that she was handsome. Uh huh. And so she started. And I'm like, you guys would have never met if I would have if I wasn't on. The right, show. right, right. Wow. Okay, so that went down. Now let's fast forward to more recent stuff. We're seeing you on Instagram with this new woman. We were seeing you. Who is this new woman? She's a Larissa from 90 Day Fiance, also look-alike. <laughs> Who is she? She is. She looks just like her. Who is she? Well, you know what happened, man? This chick, right? 
Uh, I met her. She was like a she's like a model on Instagram. I guess like okay. one of those rapper models, you know, all that all that crap. Mm-hmm. So uh, she was a nice person at first. We're yeah. like talking. How did you meet on social me. media? Huh? How did you meet her? Oh, I met her on Instagram. Okay. And then that's when she was like, I really have a lot of feelings for you, Caesar. So let's start talking, get to know each other. And then that's when um, that was when I put her on the quarantine issue. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. Yep. And then yep. that's when we started talking on there. And, yep. and then all of a sudden, man, I go down there and visit her. Okay. okay. I go down there and visit her. And it was during um, uh, the corona. When yep. the corona had just in the middle of it. So I started visiting her. And then this crazy chick, man, I go there. And uh, her family's real nice. They take care of me. Yep. You know, work, cooking, eating, crap like that. Uh-huh. Well, this big dinner. It's like 15 of her whole family members, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she says... Hey Caesar, I just wanted to bring you down here because you're a gullible person, and um, I wanted to treat you like Maria did and just take your money and just use a little bit of the fame that you have, and so that's why I brought you down here. And I was Whoa. like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's like, I got football stars that want me. I have basketball players that want me. I got movie star guys that want me, and, and you're just you're nothing. So I left, uh-huh. and then I came back, and then she was like, Caesar, let's start talking. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I said, okay, let's see what's going on. Then all of a sudden, man, she just flipped on me. So all, what it was was she was just that type of person that just wants to get uh, noticed uh-huh. and then be on a TV show. And then after she gets popular, then she'll just go ahead and then dump you off and then go to the next person. Right. Now, do you... That's what I found out. Yeah. So did you ever give her any money or was that just Maria? No. That Okay. That whole video clip mm-hmm. was something that we're just joking around with. Yeah, so I, I so for everyone that doesn't yeah. know, I saw Caesar with a bunch of cash, it was a big stack of cash, and I was like, "What?" And you were on, you were on one knee, weren't you? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We we're just joking around with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Half, half of the money was real, and half of the rest was fake. That was a lot of cash. I mean, that was that yeah, was. So we had like uh, like sixty thousand dollars. Yeah, it was like sixty. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was sixty thousand, but it was thirty thousand in fake money, and uh-huh. it was another thirty thousand in real money. Thirty, 30 grand? 000, yeah, because I started because because now I'm not paying Marie anymore, so now I got. Oh money yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so okay, so yeah, so I saw on Instagram this same girl. She was calling you like a manager or like some kind of. It, she wasn't calling you like a boyfriend. What was your relationship with her? Was it a manager or was it a boyfriend? No, okay, this is what happened, right? She wanted to start dating me, uh-huh. but then all of a sudden we're gonna we're gonna start doing a, a YouTube channel. I was gonna start going over there visiting her. We're gonna start building a relationship. Then all of a sudden she said that she liked her manager. Okay. That she had feelings for her her manager that she was working with. Mm-hmm. And she says, "Oh well, he pays more attention to me. You know, he pays more attention." And me and Soldier Boy, we're good friends. Yeah. You know, we don't we don't have no beef against each other or anything like that. We're actually pretty good friends. You know? yeah, yeah. And so she was trying to put us against each other and say, "Oh, he pays more attention to me than you do." Wow. And I'm like, come on, man. You know, I don't really have time to go on Instagram all the time. Right. You know, I'm working full time now. I'm just starting to get my life back together because uh-huh. the time when I was giving Maria eight hundred dollars every two weeks. <sighs> wow. For yeah. Five, for for imagine for five years. Now, um, tomorrow, I call, uh, Inst- uh, what is that, uh, MoneyGram, mm-hmm. and I'll get back all the uh, all the transcripts from yeah. uh, the whole five years, and I'm going to send it to TLC and so they can publish that out and actually yeah. show the people that that was real. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's crazy. So, yeah. no, I hear you. So, everything is done with the girl that was just trying to get some clout, trying to get some fame from you. That's everything it. is done. Yeah, everything is done. And then the, the other thing is, is that, you know... Um, you know, I'm not really, I'm not upset at Jesse or anything. Uh-huh. You know, uh, I think that he has his own agenda. But the thing about it is, man, is that if he's going to, uh, see, he could have dated anybody. Right. You know, he could have talked to anybody. He could have been with anybody else. But then it's like, he's not, he wasn't relevant anymore. So yeah. it's because his girl, they broke up. Mm-hmm. Her and her sister got their new show. Yeah. She has a boyfriend now. And then what is he going to do? He's not, he's not really relevant. He's not going to do anything. Right. Unless he dates another American chick. Right. That's the only thing. And so now he has nothing else to do. So he's like, man, they're just fresh right now. They're new. Yeah. So let me go ahead and talk to Maria because I know how her mind thinks. She sees that I'm going to these nice plot, these nice spots, these um, yeah. nice resorts, yep. and uh, people are managing me. You know, I'm not paying for anything. So 
since all these people are paying for me, let me go talk to her. And then from there, we'll just go ahead and get together and create something. That was, that's what, what it really was. Yeah, I yeah. went through the whole scenarios already. Right. And so, so that's what it was. And then he's like, I could change your life. I can bring you up. Listen to me. I got it. So that's what it is. Well, so now what happened with those two? Are they still going out? Are they still together? Are they just friendly? What Do you know anything about uh, Maria and Jesse now in present day? Most likely, I think. Most likely, I think they're. I think they're teaming up now. Uh huh. So I think. I think what they're doing now. I think that they're. That that they're both working together because you know a lot of people don't like her and then yeah. a lot of people don't like him. Right. And so of course those two are going to combine forces together, mm -hmm. and then he's going to try to bring her up, and then he's going to show off, and then they're going to try to create something. And so I can understand that, yeah. You know, and and you know, I'm I'm happy for them. Let it go, do let them go do their own thing. You right. Know, a lot of this, I block both of them, so they, I don't even have to worry about anything that they're doing because the more that people talk about me, they're going to talk about him. So that's why he did that. See, he's yeah. pretty smart. Yeah. You know? He's an opportunist. <laughs> yeah. He's real conniving. Yeah. He's conniving because the reason why is he only thinks about himself and he uses other people. To bring him up, he doesn't really care about bringing people up. Right. Why would else? Why else would he go to an old folks' home when people are like elderly and they have Alzheimer's? They don't even know what the hell he's talking about. Right. Why does he go to like a university? Go to a college? You know? Go to to a high school or go to uh like you know? Right. No, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Can understand what yeah. he's saying. Yeah. No, I agree. And so now you know we backtrack to Maria. Where where does your relationship stand with her? I I don't. It doesn't sound like you're giving her any money anymore, are you? Well, the first thing is, uh, at that time, I was only, my mind was, uh, it was my first time being on TV, uh -huh. and it was, and my emotions were going crazy, you know, yeah. and that time, I wasn't just, I was thinking about getting her over here, mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't because she was white, it wasn't because she was pretty, yeah. it wasn't because of that, I just wanted to make that clear to everybody, yeah. because a lot of people say, oh, you only go out with white girls, that's what you like, I like all women. Yeah. But she just happened to be the person that I, that I actually fell in love with at that time. Mm -hmm. And so we were working on that. So I wasn't really thinking about that she was scamming me. I was yeah. thinking about that. Um, that I was help trying to get her here because I didn't know the rules and regulations on how to get somebody here from another country. If okay. I was smart and I read up about that, that would know. Because actually, she's like, if you put it uh, realistically, she's a scam artist. Right. Right. Because if somebody's not a scam artist, they would say, okay, look, Caesar, I'm going to go to work, and then from me working, uh, I'll save up my money, and then after six months, uh, whatever I need, just help me out with a little bit. Right. Well, see, that's my question. What was her job when you guys were officially, when you guys were in a relationship, online relationship, what was her job? She had no job. She had no job. She had nothing. All she was doing was staying home taking care of uh, her mom, her dad. She had her own little room uh -huh. in her house, and that's all she was doing, just taking care of family, going out with her friends, wow. buying new shoes with, with my money, buying new clothing with my money. I got tons of pictures of all the clothing and her getting her nails done, yeah. going on trains, visiting her friends with, with my money, and, yeah. and that's it. She wasn't even working. Wow. She doesn't even do real estate, if people We're, look on that. Yeah, page. yeah, yeah. See, now I, I got to be real with you, though. When you, I know you were in love at the time, but it's like, didn't you, didn't you like feel like, you know, in the back of your head, okay, she's not working, I'm giving her a crap ton of money, and you tried a few times to go meet her, didn't you think in the back of your head, geez, you know, she just is kind of just, like you said, she was scamming you, I and mean, that's, that's, that's what it is, it's unfortunate, but she was using you for money, did that thought ever go to your head the first or second or however many times that she stood you up, did you ever think of that in the back of your head, she's just using you for money? Well, yeah, that third time, man, that's yeah. when I was like, that's when I was like, man, I sat, because I took my friend's Escalade out there. Wow. I took his, yeah, I took his Escalade out there, I bought balloons, man, I had like two dozen roses uh -huh. and everything, and then I was like, man, I said, I need to do something. Yeah. And then that's when I emailed the show, uh -huh. and I told them my story, because if I would have just dropped it and said, okay, I'm not going to, uh, you know, I'm just going to leave you alone, forget about it, then she could have got away with it. Right, right, right. And, she, and she's on, on like six other websites too. She's yeah. on like, like five or six other websites. And so I felt like it was an opportunity yeah. for me to go and expose the person and show her, even though it made me look stupid, but it's better that I look stupid and expose this person. That way it can't happen to everybody, anybody else again, because also David talked to her too. 
What? Oh, actually, I, I did hear that. I heard that. I heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and me and Dave were, were really close friends, and Dave was like, yeah, man. She was just sitting behind there, behind the camera, working for the company uh -huh. and, uh, and getting everybody's money. And I was like, what the hell? Wow. Yeah, David, man. He Yeah, he was in a similar situation for sure. He ended up meeting Lana, but I think that, that relationship, I, I think Lana was doing a similar thing as Maria. But anyway, Caesar, I'm curious now. We're talking about the past. Let's talk about the future. How is life? How is the dating life? Are you seeing anyone now that you just got out of that other relationship? What is your love life like now? Well, the thing now is, it's like, <laughs> you know, all, all these chicks, man, think that I'm like a millionaire. And, they do? Know, yeah, man, because every time they're like, hey, Caesar, you know, can you do me a favor? You know, can you like uh, pay for my hair, pay for my makeup? Why? You know, my dog has cancer. You know, I have a printer. Oh, my printer's messed up. And then, can you pay for my car? And then, um, can you help me with the little olive oil because I have bags what? in my office? And I'll be about around like four thousand, and then and then I'll come to you. Because remember, babe, you're paying for all this. This is what you're paying for. Wow. And once I come down, this will be all yours. Mm -hmm. all right? Just don't leave any marks to hurt me, but this will be yours. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but why Why would, you know, so why would anyone think that? I don't understand why. Because of the amount of money that I gave her. Okay. Which, gotcha. was, a larger, which was a larger amount than mm -hmm. it was on TV. And they, everyone thinks that, you know. And some of the women, they're really nice. And they're really uh, uh, true and genuine. Yeah. You know, that come on and they go onto my Instagram or uh -huh. they go on my Facebook. But right now, you know, I'm just trying to get myself together. And maybe in the future... Like after my vacation in May, I'm going to Mexico to kind oh, of are you? do a couple of things. Okay. Then probably I'll get back into it. But now, man, I'm just kind of just starting to to uh, to get back to myself, you know, because now I can actually move out and actually I can actually buy a house. Uh -huh. And now I'm starting to start do stock market now, which I've never even did that. I'm starting that up. Wow. So I'm kind of like starting, kind of like starting my life, and now I'm getting my license. I'm going to buy a car. Wow. And yeah, and so now I can start doing more things, man, because I was at the bottom. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I mean, yeah, your all your money was going to Maria, you know. Yeah, all I had was like ten dollars in my account. I was eating noodles. I was uh, like you saw on TV. I was eating noodles. I wow. was eating spam. I was going to the dollar store. Uh -huh. I would actually uh, sit there and talk to the customers, and um, hopefully that I would talk nice enough to them that I would get a twenty dollar tip. Wow. I'm just hoping and praying, like, man, I hope I get a tip. Yeah. I just hope I get something, you know, so I can eat. Sometimes I would eat for like three, four days. Wow. Well, so now I don't want to get too off topic. And I don't want to hold you too long, but I am curious. How's business now with all the quarantine, the stuff? You know, are you guys busy? How, how's business been for you guys during this pandemic? Uh, business is going good. Is it's it? Really okay, good. good. Um, you know, we don't, we don't have that many workers right now because... You know, a lot of people have had kids now, uh -huh. and they kind of, like, don't want to come out because of COVID, but the customers are still coming. Okay. And we have safety precautions there. You know, we wipe the chairs. We sanitize the chairs after each customer. You know, we have bags that we put into the pedicure chairs. Uh -huh. We clean them still afterwards. And then also we um, we uh, wear masks. We wear face Good. masks, you know, Good. all the time there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we have uh, every other chair that we use for the customers. We don't bunch everybody together yeah and we do appointment only uh -huh. you know um on the weekdays on the weekends it's just people coming in and yeah. we separate people from when they come inside we don't overcrowd people and so we're doing a really great job on doing that good know? good okay so before we sign off for the day i'm curious are you looking for love are you looking overseas for love where are you at with your love i, I know you kind of said that you get a lot of women hitting you up for money but how about the love life is there any you know, potential Mrs. Caesar in the future. What What's going on with your love life? I am kind of curious. Well, I don't know, man. The only love life I got is the weights right now and cardio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. when, when I was on, when I was, uh, like, I lost, like, I was, like, 255, and now I'm, like, 208 now. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm, like, 208 now. Mm -hmm. And so, um, only thing is, I don't really know where my love life is going to be, you know? Yeah. Um, I think probably after... After, uh, are you looking internationally? Are you looking internationally or are you looking in the States? Anywhere. Okay. It don't matter. It could be both. Well, hey, ladies, any ladies that are still watching, yeah, definitely yeah, make sure to hit both. up Caesar. Any, <laughs> any, anybody. It could be big, small. Uh huh. 
tiny, any kind. <laughs> yeah, well, I think you're looking for I think you're looking for a big heart, man. I, that, that's my suggestion. I'm the last to give any love advice, but if I was to give you any advice, it'd be look for a big heart, man, because you're a good guy, you know. And I think the show, you know, the show was the show. I think Maria, honestly, whether you love Caesar or you hate Caesar, I think Maria was really honestly bad to you. And and it's like yeah, I think yeah. you got to look for a girl that's genuine and for a big heart, and maybe try to find a girl that doesn't watch Night Day Fiance, because then she won't be, you know, looking for you for the fame. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, and you know, and and you know, a lot of people like a lot of other cast members. I'm not gonna sit there and say any anybody or or belittle anybody, but you know, for me, that show was was true. Yeah, you know, all, all that part. You you know, like they ask, they'll ask you, they'll say, "Hey, did they put words in your mouth? Was mm -hmm. it scripted?" Yeah, there's certain words that you have to say in order to for the audience to understand what you're saying. Okay, yeah, because I've talked to a lot of the cast and they, they're mad and they're saying that 90 Fiance, they cut it up and they make me look like a different person, but you don't agree with that? Uh, I'll say for my story, uh -huh. no, they, they got my story 100, 100%. You know, I still, I ride my bike to work, I work in the nail shop, they got it 100%. For everybody else, you know, that that's on them, but I'll say for me, they got it 100% and that's my life and that's what happened. And uh, I appreciate them to bring it out, yeah. uh, to bring out my story and to tell my story. And, uh, you know, I'll work with them again, and I, I appreciate them. I mean, I have yeah. nothing bad to say about them. Yeah. And so are you friends, or have you met up with any of the other 90 Day Fiance castmates in person besides, you know, with tell-alls and whatnot? Uh, I, I met up with uh, a good friend of mine in Charlotte. Okay. Tim. Oh, Tim. Yeah, yeah. Tim. How's Tim doing? Yeah, he's doing really good. I met up with him. Yeah. I was going to go uh, meet up with some of the other cast members. But, uh, yeah, we, we all support each other. We yeah. support each other. Mm -hmm. You know, um, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're an important part of my life, you know, because in case of, you know, we need some support or, or some mental support, we always look to each other. Yeah. You know, because I care about them like they're my family. Yeah. And, you know, I, I have nothing bad to say. They're all good, beautiful people. Yeah, you know? good deal. And Soldier Boy, me and Soldier Boy. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. Are you watching the most recent 90 Fiance season we're seeing right now? No, I don't watch it. Oh, uh, you don't? <laughs> Did you watch when you were on it? No, uh-uh. No, You're kidding. I mean, like, probably, like, only part that I seen was uh, on YouTube when people okay. were talking about me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And after that, All right. after that, I was like, yeah, I was like, that, that's it. But also, um, the last thing I want to say is, um, yeah. the one that who became really close to me was Drake. How? Okay, I told one of my friends, I was asking on my Instagram, I want to get Caesar on my channel, and we had to really think, so how did, I'm curious, how did you end up hearing about me reaching out? Was it Up and Adam, the other YouTuber that, he texted you, wasn't it, or was it someone, how, how, yeah, how did you? Yeah, yeah, that's him, yeah. Okay, so did, I, I had all, all my followers were DMing you, how did you hear that I wanted to talk to you? I think, I think he did, or one of some, somebody, some, somebody else messaged, messaged me, uh -huh. it was a woman. And uh, she messaged me, and then that's when I messaged you back. But wow. do you want me to show you some some things that uh, Drake sent me? Yeah, okay, yeah, I do, because I am so curious. Is one of my, I told one of my friends, I'm getting Caesar on, and he goes, yeah, this guy, fo Drake follows this guy. Yeah, and so, um, uh, man, uh, there's a there's an actor that follows me, too. Uh-huh. Uh, I forget his name. I, I mean, my mind is going crazy right now. Which, yeah. Which I should remember what his name is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, it's uh, Louis. Louis. Now I'm blanking on that one. Louis. Lu uh, Louis Guzman. Huh? Yeah, I'm. Not, I'm. <laughs> I'm kind of bad with actors besides reality TV, yeah, but Louis yeah, Guzman. So, uh, okay. Up his name. Yeah. He was in uh, Carlito's Way. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that movie. Yeah, he was in uh, Carlito's Way. Let me see. Hold on. Wow. I'm gonna, like, tape it up because I was gonna do a big reveal. Hold on. Okay. I was gonna do basically a big gigantic reveal, but I didn't. Uh, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't quite did it yet. So how did, yeah. did did he see you from the show? I take it. Yeah, he saw me from the show, and then that's when uh, that's when uh, he messaged me, and he was like, "Hey, Caesar, man." He's like, "Let's link up one day, and uh, we'll uh, we'll hook up, and we'll we'll do some stuff together." When Corona, when Corona is done, I was like, yeah, man, we, we should be able to do that. We should do that. You know, he says, I think you're a great guy. 
I think you're a great guy and you're a great person. And he said, I'm really sorry that that happened to you. Wow. But um, I'm here to support you and I'm here. So if you ever want to talk, you know, uh, let's uh, let's chit chit chat and talk. You know, I'm always here. So, you know, give me a call and tell me what's up. Wow. That is awesome. You know, Will Ferrell did an SNL skit that was kind of on 90 Day Fiance. Loosely based on your character, I think. Have you seen that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. You know, I was I was going to message him, but uh -huh. then the thing about me messaging him was uh, that uh, you have to go through hoops and stuff to get yeah. to him, man. You really mm -hmm. got to know somebody else yeah. to get to him, and and, um, and and we'll meet up in the future. Yeah. Well, hey, Caesar, I appreciate you coming on. I'm going to put your Instagram above or below this video, and before we sign off, I do want to say... If you have any itinerary or flights or anything from when you went to Ukraine, I know everyone's going to be up in my comments saying he didn't go, it wasn't true. So anything you can share that I can put on this yeah. video as a screenshot, that would just seal the deal and it would shut everyone up. I'm going to send it right now. Yeah, I appreciate I'm it, man. Send your email. Okay, yeah, yeah. Anything else you want to say before we sign off? Uh, I just want to tell everybody, you know, I appreciate you guys watching me, mm -hmm. and I want to tell everybody, um, I really appreciate it and thank you for everybody saying, you know, that they that they're behind me, that they, you know, but I wanted to say, you know, that was just a part of my life that happened, and now I'm um, actually, I learned from it, you know, yeah, and I know now it takes fifty fifty to build a relationship. It just doesn't take one person, and uh, I'm not jealous of them. Well, good deal, man. All right, I appreciate you coming on. Hey, no problem. I appreciate y'all. See you later. All right, y'all, that was a really freaking great time. We had so many technical difficulties with this, that, and the others. I'm sorry about some of the quality with the stuff. It was really, honestly, really difficult to make that interview work, but believe it or not, we did make it work, thank God. And it was fun. I learned a couple new things that were kind of bizarre, kind of interesting. Definitely a pretty interesting time. Anyway, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button, comment below your thoughts, and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.